Hello guys, hope you're doing well. And as always, if you are new to my channel, I would request you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, the problem at our hand today is that we have a tractor towel uh, carries uh, 500 kg load of soil having center of mass at B. Compute the forces developed in the hydraulic cylinder IJ. And uh, if you look at it, this is our hydraulic cylinder IJ. And uh, there is another hydraulic cylinder BC, which is this one, due to the loading. Okay, so we have to solve this problem. If you look at this problem very carefully, uh, we have the shovel over here of this uh, uh, tractor, uh, which is used to lift the loads. Okay, and if you look at this point, very important, at this point, if you look, there is uh, this member FS, this member FS. If you look at this member FS, this is basically a uh, nothing but a two force member which is being placed over here so you have to be very careful when doing the calculation okay so we will be starting with the shovel if you look at this shovel we have basically this point d which is basically a uh, pin connected and at this point f we have this uh, two force member force fx which is over here if you look at it okay and uh, if you look at it this force fx will have the two components uh, and basically a horizontal and vertical component, okay? So the distance from the, this point F to D is nothing but it's 200 millimeters and distance from F to H is basically 300 millimeters. So we, we can treat it as 0.2 and 0.3 and the hypotenuse will be basically uh, point, uh, one, the root of 0 0.13, okay? Uh, so we can treat it as this uh, 0.2 uh, square point three square and basically uh, the hypotenuse will be uh, the square root of point two square plus point three square which is point one three. So once this is being done, we have understood this point over there. And uh, if we take moments at D, we take moments at D at this point. Okay, so we will have uh, one this force five hundred which is the weight five hundred into nine point eight one multiplied by point four which is 0 0.2 into 0 0.2, it is basically going to be uh, 0.4, okay? Uh, so once this is being done, this force component, force FH will have two components, it will one component will be uh, the horizontal and other is the vertical. So when we talk about the horizontal component, it will be force FH uh, 0.2 upon 0.13, which is the horizontal component, and uh, the moment arm of this horizontal component to point D is going to be 0 0.4. It's going to be 0 0.4. What about this vertical component? Okay, this is the other component, which is 5 uh, over here. So this is a force FH into uh, the distance from this point to this is 0 0.2. So it will be force FH. Uh, vertical component 0.3 over square root of 0 0.13. And the moment arm is 0 0.2 is equal to zero. So we have, as we have uh, basically uh, divided our tractor into different components, uh, one of the components is being solved, which is the shower. Okay, so we have solved, solved this. Now, basically, we are still interested in calculating the forces in the hydraulic cylinder IJ and BC, which we have still not calculated. But we have basically connected one of the connections, which is this two force member, which is FH, which is acting at uh, F and H, which is a two force member. Now, if we basically go and we are interested in uh, basically this uh, member, which is a very complex member because there is a hydraulic cylinder IJ being connected over here, and then this is the two force member which is being connected, and then there is basically, if you look at it, a pin which is at point D. E. Okay, so this is, if we open it up a bit, magnify it is this component. This is the force FIJ, and this is the uh, uh, two force member force we have calculated, which was uh, after calculation is 5053 Newton. So it is this force. Uh, and again, see the direction was uh, in this direction, two force member. Now, when we basically uh, connect, uh, go to the other member, we've taken direction in the opposite sense, okay, because uh, of the Newton's third law. Actually, there are actually there is no force over here, so they will basically cancel out the force. So once this is being done, and we these are the components of this uh, 5053 0.3 or 0.2, and this is square root of 0.13. Okay. If you look at this, the ratio will still stay remains the same for 3 upon 
2 into square root of 13, so it doesn't matter. So member EH. Now we start with member EH, and if you look summation of all, we take summation of all the moments at this point, uh, which is point E. We take the moment at this point E. So once we do it, we have this force Fij, this force Fij, and uh, once uh, what will be the moment arm of this force to point E? Okay. So if you look at it very clearly, that uh, here he says the vertical force. Uh, uh, basically, the vertical axis y is making an angle 30 degrees over here. Okay, so with this, if we go here, the vertical angle with this uh, line is 30 degrees. Okay, so again, if we go to point E and for this member, again, this angle is 30. Okay, this angle is 30. So if we make an angle along the x axis, just we assume so if this is 30 and this is a quadrant, so it will be 60 degrees. So we can say very easily this force Fij. This force Fij and uh, times the moment arm is this. Okay, so can we calculate this moment arm? And remember that this, uh, when we calculate this triangle, this is 0 0.05. This height we do not know actually, and uh, we want this hypotenuse. Okay, so what we can do is we basically take uh, a cosine, cos of 60. So cos of 60 for this angle will be adjacent, which is this length is 0 0.05, and this is the hypotenuse. An angle is cos 60. So we can very easily make that this hypotenuse actually will be 0 0.05 over cos 60. Then we go to the other uh, basically member that we have already calculated, which is FH. Uh, it is going to be basically having two components this one and this one. Okay. So once we go for uh, the vertical component, if you look at it, it will be basically 5053 uh, into 0 0.3 over 0.13. 0.3 over 0.13, it is this component, and the moment arm from this point to this point E will be 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05, so it is very easily calculated as 0.1. Now we want basically uh, the same force member, which is force uh, uh, basically FH, which is 503, 5053, and uh, what will be the moment arm? It will be this one. It will be this arm will be the moment arm. So if we calculate this moment arm, uh, what we have to do is basically, if you look at this figure, okay, so I have just uh, drawn these two lines, okay. So if this line is continuous uh, and basically this length is added up to it, it, the angle will still be 60, okay. So if this is 60 and uh, we are interested in this uh, dimension, okay. So what we can do is basically 5053 into uh, this will be how much? It will be 0 0.2 over 0 0.13 into basically uh, 0 0.1 into 1060. So if you look at it uh, for this one, it will be 10, 1060 is equals to opposite upon adjacent. Okay, we want this length opposite uh, and adjacent is how much? It will be 0 0.05 into 0 0.05 plus uh, sorry 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05, which will be uh, 0 0.1 and multiplied by 10 of 60 and multiply by 10 of 60. So it will be giving us the value as uh, 5053 into 0 0.2 over 0 0.13 into 0 0.1 into 1060. So it will be equal to 0. So we get Fij is equals to 9059 Newton uh, equals to Fij 9.05 Newton 10 Now we basically got uh, one of the hydraulic cylinder force, which is Fij. We are also interested in calculating FBC. So, if we want FBC, we can basically uh, take use of uh, uh, this uh, system. Basically, we have already taken use of. We go to the to calculate this. We can uh, basically want this force FBC. Okay. So, if you look at it, this is a compressive force, and we can sum moments at K. So, if we sum moments at K, we will get uh, this 500 into 9.81 times the moment arm, which is 1.1, and if we are summing moment A and uh, if you look at it, this is a clockwise, so we can say this is a negative, okay. And what about this one, this force BC, which is uh, you know, going to basically, if we take anti moment, uh, anti clockwise moment and positive, so it will be FBC, the moment summation here, it will take the body in the anti clockwise sense, so FBC into 0.35. So if you simplify uh, this equation, you will get uh, FBC. Which is positive 15.4 k1 kilonewton. So since this is compressive, it's coming positive. So our assumption is correct. So this is how you're going to basically solve uh, uh, this problem, and it was. A
uh, at the risky problem i hope uh, this uh, quick uh, solution that i gave you will assist you and uh, i'm sorry if you uh, my voice is my might not be that uh, clear because i do not have all the accessories and equipment at my home just to help you as many students have requested me to solve this uh, urgently okay so just for to help you guys i have just uh, done this so i'm sorry uh, for my voice quality will be not that good okay guys best of luck for your exam and you have a wonderful day thank you